Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello. Welcome. Um, I still don't know if I have uh, French speaking people or uh, English speaking people. Uh, looks like I have three people watching. Please uh, give a little hello in the, in the chat because if you're French, I could, of course, speak French. Um, a little hello. I use Restream to stream at the same time on um, YouTube and Twitch, and I'm not sure if the, um, the chat works properly that way, and I drink some alcohol-free beer. Okay, today uh, I would like to talk about two uh, software application. I discovered recently, uh, even if, uh, especially for one of them, Ionix, it's a pretty old um, software. Uh, and a s a sketch synth, maybe it's... Uh, um it exists uh for um less time but it's pretty it's it's not new so i discovered that and i just l love it and okay i i disappear yeah i am um we'll start by sketch synth um, sketching scenes is developed by Jong Jong O Park. Um, is an artist developer. Uh, I think he, he lives uh, in Berlin. Um, he sent me actually a new version of a software. Um, uh, I think it's not, it's still not uh, on GitHub for the moment. And we can see that now. But no. But there is a new version that works properly on um, M1 Mac. And I will show you how it works. And it's uh, it's very it's great. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking for doing graphics core since uh, since sometimes. And this is a really simple app actually, but uh, I think it's a good entry to. Uh, um, graphics core and how to use it in this case uh, with synthesizers and things like that so what we'll do is to use ecamm live ipod to to all uh, but you can hear the sound so how it work here you have this page uh is a scan of the page of the on paper actually you can uh, of course upload your own sketch uh, this is what I want to do now and I push a O on my keyboard and then I can try to find something I already did uh, I don't know if it's not this one but we're not using this one and voila Here it's my sketch my uh, score actually I draw myself and as you can see you have two uh, little window a green one and a red one with a red one you will select the So waveform, uh, 
you will play with this window. And in this version, you can uh, resize the window, not that one. And um, in the future release, you, you will have the possibility to uh, resize this window too. So here we are, I have my, let's say, try to do sounds with this little part here, this little dot, and I just have to press my space bar and it's supposed to have sounds, yeah. Okay, and it loops again and again. Now if I change here and I say, okay, use this part to make the actual sound I play. Uh, and I move my score a little bit, maybe I can make it larger. And I push my press, my space bar. And the sound a little different, you can change in real time. Actually, I like the sound we have here. Okay, as you can see, it's very interesting. Uh, let's try with uh, uh, over and over sketch of image. Let's try with this one because we will talk about Ionix after. So I think it will be very complex because the image is really complex. And I don't know, it will work. Maybe it will be very noisy, let's try. Yeah, it's too noisy. No, it's a bad idea. It's too noisy. Let's find another image. Um, Uh, oh, I don't have, I don't. Try to find another image. Oh, what we can do, it's be back to the default um, image. I will show you just before this one and here uh, what uh, the developer did that is draw some waveforms here so we can choose waveforms and here you have some score but you can play with waveforms what you can do is to play this score and change waveforms to to hear the difference of the sound first one oh, okay excuse me I have to change. Okay. okay, change the sound. And you have some stuff you can change. You can change the speed of the score itself. So you can 
very 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 slow volume you can play with frequency of a sound you can overlap the score and you can play with the contrast to have a more precise sound or more noisy one or even Very interesting. By playing with a play zone contrast and a wave table contrast, you can have very different, and you can see the result here. can invert the color but in this case it's more difficult to have something I think it depends of a of a image that you you use so you can experiment and um, Okay, I'll, I think I, would, I could play uh, hours and hours of this thing <laughs> and draw some uh, waveforms and score. Um, and I have project, I have this score, uh, I just played before, but I have over one and I, I like to draw and it's a, it's a good way um, for me to, it's a good way to me to, to uh, uh, force myself to drawing stuff because I always think I am very bad at drawing. So I'm still bad, but I like the, the idea to make a score with a uh, drawing. I hope um, we could develop this app more and, and I hope it will continue to develop it to maybe uh, having uh, OSC or MIDI output of this app could be pretty nice. So that was the first app. This app is pretty simple, useful, interesting, but simple. The second app I would like to talk about is INX. Um, INX, it's it's very complex. Actually, I just started to use it, and it's like uh, it's like there is so many things you can do with it. It just wow, you can you can give your life and pass your entire life uh, doing things with this uh, with uh, INX. INX it's inspired by Yanis Xenakis and uh, is um, 
machine, he computer machine he created a develop uh, I think in the eighties uh named Upic. And uh this uh app INX was developed and it's still developed, it's open source, but it's still developed by uh French people and it is uh, with the the money of uh French government. It's a good thing. <laughs> and uh as you can see it can be a sequencer. You can it it's a graphical space so you can uh draw stuff on it but you can also create um uh with external um control uh gra graphism in it. Uh, it's open source. It's totally programmable uh, in JavaScript, and uh, yeah, it just incredible, incredible. So, if you're interested, you can go to this address and uh, research because I can't. It looks like I can't post myself stuff on the chat from ICAM. Okay. Anyway, ionix.org is very easy. And there is so many things you can do. You can uh you can use it for video, you can use it of course for audio and in conjunction with uh pure data or uh, max msp you, you can what they call retroaction is as the Ionix can operate itself and become entirely autonomous. But there is no sound and nothing in uh, Ionix. Ionix is just a controller in a way, a sequencer or something cool. Uh, yes, you can connect it to the Arduino system. Um, of course, you can use it with OSC and MIDI control. This is actually what I st started to do. Uh, you can manipulate it with sensors and ca video cam and everything. There's so many things. And um, yeah, it's open source. So what I can show you, it's uh, one of the first example I did. And again, uh, I started. I uh, create uh, I call it experience one so I have two things I have uh, a score by an X because we call it a score too this is my first score it can be excuse me I have a, uh, it can be 3d too so actually what you do on this uh, software it's to uh, create cu curves and trigger and um, what they call it they call it cursor but, but move it's move you can see and you send message uh, of the position of each cursor of each trigger even of a of a curve uh, because you send uh, the position of all this thing, of all the cursor and the, um, also the um, trigger. And you send information, MIDI information and also OSC information. That's more interesting that way. So I can open my experience one. Yes, this is a new version of uh, Max, excuse me, not to watch the message. Yes, of of course. Open it. I 
I'm afraid that I don't receive a uh, chat. Okay. So I have this um, little patch with just a uh, little oscillators and as you can see, and not this one, I already receive information from, you know what, uh, I could put this, yeah, it's easier that way. I already receive information from Ionix in Maximus Wing, as you can see. And it's very easy because you just have to uh, use the subject and receive uh, OSC uh, signal information from uh, from uh, Ionix and with only this object you can send anything on Max MSP. So now I think maybe you can hear some sound. No, I know why. Let me wait. low volume so yeah, it's, it's very complex and um, but maybe you can draw something together okay let's start a new no I stop you see nothing is moving but I can return on Ionix and create a blank uh, project. Yes, and say OK. I will do uh, this curve, maybe this thing, and draw something. This is not what I want to do, but it's interesting. Why not escape and then I play? Excuse me. So it's not some more interesting sound, but just to give you an example of what you can do with. And of course, I can make big score and I can add some trigger. Let's say I add a trigger here. And if I'm back for the beginning, when as the cursor pass on the trigger it will send info info of going raid but maybe you can see here i just uh root one trigger here but i send it to uh, nothing interesting maybe what i can do is to uh, Let's try something. Because I think CV1 is an offset. I'm not sure, but maybe we'll see. Okay, let's try from the beginning. So you don't play the pitch. Things is that it just send Oh, 
we send the value. Let's try something again. Okay, what I can show you now, it's, uh, let's turn it off. Um, if I select this, uh, no, shit. If I select this uh, cursor here, okay, then when I go to info here and message and edit message here you can see all the message this cursor send and it send actually eight message that's why here i have one two three four five six seven eight uh, wait uh, one more so it's not important but so I send in the same order in my unpack uh, object here, this uh, info. So the first is a cursor ID because each uh, object on in Ionix got a uh, unique ID. A group ID too. And uh, the value free, it's a, a, a X coordinate of a running cursor. Uh, y coordinate, Z coordinate, if you uh, use the 3D system. And um, the position at, at the moment of a running corner too. And, and this is all your, your value. But you can add actually some value from over stuff here. So there is a lot of value that you can, you, you can add and then use it to control anything in, uh, in, in this case, in, uh, in Max MSP. But you can also, I don't know, do message too. You can also use uh, TCPs. So it, it means that you can send message uh, remotely, let's say on the internet if you want. But of course you can, play with MIDI too. I don't remember how to do that. But I know you can. I know you can play MIDI directly. Object. Ah, MIDI, yeah. Here you can uh, use, oh, hello, Nils. Thank you for um, for saying a little hello on the chat because I was not sure that uh, the chat is working because I use the uh, restream. So I, I don't know if you hear from the beginning. I um, show you this uh, fabulous uh, app. I don't know how to call it actually an um, Ionix it's with a huge potential potential what you can do with that so I was just uh, saying that you can use MIDI too and um, and send MIDI message too of course but really using OSC is uh, it's easier Easier, no, I'm not sure it's easier, but it's more powerful, definitely. Um, so, yes. And you just root the cursor of a trigger a different output and you can control anything on max MSP. Even media pipe is working on the Yes. 
media pipe. I know media pipe. What is media pipe? But do, do you know? Do you already know about Ionix? Because what is uh, interesting with uh, Ionix, it, it's all this idea of drawing stuff. Just the name, yeah. Like I said at the beginning, it's a pretty old um, uh, app, actually. Yeah, up. And uh, yeah. I made, a, made a mistake. So you can modify your your curves the way you want, and uh, yeah, it's very cool. It's very cool. I think it's very cool. You can draw, can and then here we are. And of course, what I forgot to say, uh, it's that you, of course, you can um, loop your cursor the way you want. So you just have to select it. And in the time, um, yeah, you can use loop. And you have some, uh, can, I, can I call it? Uh, is um, no, I forgot. The, I forgot the word in English. And then oh, I have to. It starts slowly, and then it. That's very funny. And if I bypass... Yeah! Noise! I think it will... Uh, yeah. It will continue. Scary. <laughs> it's very scary. I love it. Uh, so yes, it's uh, it's endless. It's endless. Um, yes, there is so many things you can do with it. Uh, as I said at the beginning, there is. Uh, I really recommend you to to go to the website and to see all of this video and each time it it give you ID the stuff to do and uh yeah I also uh, recently tried to do uh to control VST with that because in uh Max MSP it's very f easy to use uh, uh to use VST I don't know which one I can uh, use but um let's say i have a lot of vst uh bo -bo 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 -bo. uh you can use the famous fundamental bar and bar and then ah oh shit for example, you have this window, and each control um, a 
of a VST as um, an ID too. And you just have to uh, to use a message. Uh, I don't remember. I think it just, for example, if you use for dollar one. And for example, I can send. Let's try. I'm not sure about it. Yes, it works. You can see. You can move the oscillator frequency of, in this case, fundamental. Let's listen to that. As you can see, my frequency here is controlled by my score on Ionix here. So we'll make it faster. Okay, this frequency. easy to control VST to very very easy uh, of course I think you can do the same with uh, pure data I have to uh, to check that uh, there is a library in pure data to um, to receive OSC but when I try to use it, it it doesn't work I don't know why but it opens door it opens door at what in there is um, interesting me a lot to it's to um, make thing in both side I mean using Ionix to control stuff but also controlling uh, Ionix with uh, uh, any controlling device and to have a, a kind of uh, real-time uh, um, uh, real-time composing this kind of thing Libro is a c for OSC on uh, pure data I'll leave you I will check all this thing you say Libio It's this one. Uh, no, I think it's not this one. Okay, it, it's this one, the one I have on my screen now. CMU abstract Libio. Ah, Liblo. Excuse me. Low. 
Ah, okay. This is a thing. Okay, I will check that. Okay, thank you. Uh, but for the moment, I really need to explore how to use Ionix. I'm actually, I'm very a big fan of um, of Ionix uh, Xenakis. So, and I didn't know that this uh, software, open source, free, uh, because it's free, of course. I didn't know it exists. <laughs> so, so I have to explore that. So Nils, I don't know if if you were here at the beginning because I also talk about sketch scenes. It's a fascinating little piece of software to uh, simpler, but uh, yeah, it's a way to write, create score on paper, and then play it uh, with a uh, synth sound, but it's very interesting, very easy, uh, but uh, interesting to have an idea of, of a graphic score very uh, fast. So yeah, this is a thing, so sketch scenes and uh, Ionix. This is my new toys for the... Uh, I think Video Scenes is by the same developer. Young O Park. But I... Uh, yes, Sketch Scenes Video, this one. Because he, he developed uh, this thing too. But for the moment, I'm just uh, working on on um, sketch scene because I like the idea of drawing myself kind of score. I I like this idea, but of course I will try a video synth uh, as fast as I can. <laughs> but uh, I am at difficulty with sketch scenes. Uh, because of um, of my uh, Mac OS X, Mac OS X uh, version, but uh, he sent me, uh, Yeon sent me uh, a version that works uh, on um, Monterey. Okay, so I think I will stop now for today. And if um, if you see this uh, live on replay, I think m more people will see it on replay, especially on YouTube. Uh, I will put all the link uh, in the description down below. For the moment, there is no link, but I will put the link for inx.org and um, for uh, sketch scenes and everything. Uh, okay, thank you for watching. Thank you, Nils, to be here in real time. And thank you for all the other people who will see uh, this video on replay. And um, yeah. No, 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 I try nothing. Uh, really, I just, I just start. <laughs> I'm starting actually to... Uh, use this kind of thing even osc it's pretty new for me and uh i just uh understand the huge potential of this uh of this thing and uh, it give me a lot of ideas but uh i will have more time uh, um, from september we'll stop my day job and i i think i will find more time to uh, experiment on stuff i have my head it's i have too many ideas in my head <laughs> actually it's too much so. and uh yeah yeah but um yeah yeah i know i know i know that i can put midi in osc i know i know i know that but i really uh would like to focus uh, for the next season on 
uh, max MSP actually first and use Ionix or an or over uh, interface protocol and everything to interface with max MSP but I would really like to uh, be uh, more um, uh, comfortable with uh, max MSP as as much as I can to create application to create stuff um, I don't want to um, to to try too many things uh, too many things I try to focus on one thing uh, and and to use all this kind of, of thing of uh, Ionix and other thing to interface and uh, discover uh, you how to use it uh, the best way so um, but I'm I'm Nils I'm uh, always uh, happy to 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 what you make me discover my English is bad and bad because I'm very tired I'm very sorry uh, so my friend thank you for watching thank you Nils again and see you pretty soon in the next one bye <laughs> Je reviens du coup. Je savais pas que tu étais français. <rire> on aurait pu, vu que tu es le, le seul à regarder, on a, ça aurait été beaucoup plus facile pour moi. <rire> Donc la prochaine fois que je te vois dans le chat, merci d'avoir regardé, merci pour tout. <rire> merci pour tous les, con les conseils, tous les voilà, tout ça. Je, je vais regarder hein, tout ce que tu tout ce que tu m'as mis dans le chat. Je vais aller regarder tout ça. Et euh, voilà. <rire> à très bientôt. <rire> Allez, salut. <rire>